Hello, I'm Brian Purdy with the Florida Aviation Network. Today we're at the Seminole Lake Glider Port on a practice day for the Senior Gliding Championships. Today we have with us Mr. Bill Foster and the head of the ground crew. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, a bunch of volunteers and I'm the director of ground operations for the competition. And so these volunteers launch each of the aircraft. Generally, we have 60 aircraft in the competition. And today we have a little bit more because of COVID. I mean, a little bit less because of COVID. And we have a little bit less volunteers, but the volunteers will hook up the gliders onto the tow planes. And then those tow planes will launch the aircraft up into the air. Then they will disconnect and turn around and the tow planes will come back and land and then hook up to the next one. So we'll get through all these aircraft hopefully within less than an hour and get everybody launched up into the competition. And then after everybody's launched, then they'll start the competition and start their, and, uh, and then our job is done. And so we're making sure everything on the ground operation wise is a safe operation not just hooking up and everything else, but the gliders have to make sure that they have all their things ready to go to go flying before they get yanked up into the air. And so we ensure that they've not things connected to the airplane that are not supposed to be connected to the airplane and things that are, are, and make sure their, their speed brakes are down, make sure their spoilers are working, the flaps and the ailerons are all working mm -hmm. operational before they check that, canopy closed and locked, all that sort of thing, and good job. Neat. So. The safety aspects are always prime, uh, paramount. Um, don't have as much worry about prop problems with the, the tow plane being the only motorized one. Um, how long will a normal flight for one of the gliders last? Well, these gliders are going to go up and in a, in form uh, a follow a pattern that might go all the way up to Ocala, Florida, to Gainesville, and come all the way back down to you know Orlando to Disney property. And, and they might be up for five to six hours. Wow. And so these gliders are gonna, once they get launched, and then once the director of the competition says, game on, then they follow this pattern. And so, and they've, they're all busy right now in their cockpits loading what this pattern is, where their stops they have to go. And, uh, and then their goal is A, stay airborne, because you can't fly it unless you're airborne. And uh, B is to do it as fast as possible. So they will keep spiraling up to catch some lift, and then they will race over to point alpha, point A, and then they'll spiral up again, and then race over to B, and then spiral up again to race over to C. And so that's how the competition is held. And he who does it fastest in the least amount of time wins. And so that's kind of the competition. Now we have a variety of gliders out here. And so there is some changing of the rules to adjust for people that have super high tech gliders compared to the ones that are old fashioned. These are the seniors. And so some people can afford the, you know, quarter million dollar airplane and some people get the $30,000 airplane. And so that's kind of the, how the competition goes. And I've heard that, I guess there's a handicap system to it. That's also. part. Of, yeah, so, that's, that's, so that, uh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Spending the money about. doesn't necessarily give you that much of an advantage. That's right. It, right. It's still an advantage, <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 we try to even it out yeah, a little yeah. bit with a handicap. And then on the recovery, um, what would the, uh, the volunteers and the ground crew be doing? Just letting them the gliders come on in and then catching them before they No, the, the ground crew's done with oh, the okay. uh, once we get them launched airborne then we're completely done not my job but their job is okay. completely done and then in recovery there's two recoveries one of which is the plane comes back here we record it that it got done mm -hmm. it might have completed the task it might not have it doesn't matter as long as we got them safely on the ground yep. here the other recovery is if somebody runs out of altitude and airspeed and ideas somewhere else mm -hmm then they might end up in a farmer's field somewhere or Disney property where they're surrounded by guns and then we'll go recover them. So we'll have to go pick them up in the trailer and supposedly they'll have somebody with car keys and their trailer attached to their car and we'll go get them there. The other alternative is that if they see a runway that's nearby and they run out of altitude and airspeed, they, they will ditch into that, they'll go into that runway and stay there and then we'll fly a tow plane to go pick them up. So those are three types of recoveries that one is a standard to come back here and that's 90, 99% of the time as everybody makes it. They might not do the whole task, but they'll, they'll make it back here. Now, are they, for in that situation where they did have to land someplace else, is it strictly a time penalty? Or does they okay? You They're guys, done. You're done. You do you're done for the day. Okay. Yeah. If you didn't make the task, it's yeah. you, you have to make the task okay. in order to be qualified. Oh,
Yeah. Okay. And then to be in the competition, if you you don't make the task one day, generally, you know, it's the rest of the time is practice because uh, you'll be pretty far behind those that are, you know, up to the up to the task. Now is it based on is it a point scoring <clears throat> or just a strictly the time? It is, and it's a complicated thing that's way above my pay grade. They, you know, th these guys doing econometrics or, you know, doing silly things with the numbers that I don't understand. So. Okay. okay. Well. Um, we look like a beautiful day. Uh, will the aircraft start from this end and take one in off, or did it? Again, that's in? above my pay grade, okay. but the wind is blowing right now in the wrong direction for everybody, <laughs> where everybody's lined up. So this whole operation might turn around and head to the other end of the uh -huh. runway to launch. But there will be a decision about that because this is Florida. The temperature's changing. There might be a thermal system that's giving us a good suck that's coming from the north. Mm -hmm. And uh, but right now, now see, look at this. The sock on the yep. top of that, that's mm -hmm. showing a north wind. Yeah. As to where, where you and I are standing, it's yep. a south wind. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna work with that. Okay. So we'll have Great. to Yeah. It's amazing, it's a beautiful day. We're looking forward to since it's just a practice, but they have any potential records today or is this okay still gonna be Highly unlikely, but uh, uh, practice days. These guys out here are all considering it a race day. They're not. They're you know they. It's a. It, the points don't count today, but they're all taking it pretty seriously. So, where they always find room to improve. So I, I absolutely, up here. absolutely, okay. yeah. The the contest director, who's also flying, mm -hmm. and so he's relinquishing his duties, uh, is competing, and uh, I have never seen him go flying without it being a competition. He's always up there testing himself, trying to learn something new. You know, Rich Owens, he's he's always, uh, Rich is always, uh, you know, pushing himself to improve. And so, and he's won it a couple times and, and uh, you know, but he's he's uh, really, you know, and as most of these guys are, I'd say. Now, you said you've got a volunteer crew, Florida Aviation Network, for volunteers also. Where are you drawing your volunteers from? Contacts, friends, friends and contacts, kids of some competitors and, kids of guys and a couple of them that are you know kids that are learning to fly gliders and airplanes and okay. they're going to the local you know high school that's an okay. aeronautic high school okay like the one down at uh, yeah exactly okay great yeah well um any closing words that you might like to go no with? thank you for coming out and showing an interest and in, in sharing it with the people out there well the... we're hoping i'm thinking hey i should get my glider rating too you should oh <laughs> it's absolutely yeah it's i've got uh, close to you know twenty five thousand hours of flight time and these gliders are the hardest thing i've ever flown and you're just not used to using your rudders that much and so you use your rudders more in a glider than anything else mm -hmm. and it's also real mission oriented in other words every time you go up you're not just drilling from a to b you're just trying to stay airborne for starters and so that's what makes glider flying so much fun is that you really have a purpose every time you go in the air is to stay airborne and so you're working really hard to do that as to where you turn on a prop and or a jet engine and it takes you off you know and and you know it's 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 really easy compared it's to this always good to keep the gray matter active and there yeah there's that too you know and so uh, but the the gross motor skills that are required for a glider are like a helicopter where you you know all the different motor skills are working and so that you know that's that's one of those things that it's got to be in muscle memory or you know you're going to get yourself in trouble and so it's well worth it to a glider rating is absolutely the best as far as skill and and most of my flight times and Boeing 767s and that sort of thing and so it's uh, a glider still the best flying you'll ever do. I'm looking forward to it. Well right. thank you very much Mr. Foster. All right pleasure to meet you. Once again this is Brian Purdy with the Florida Aviation Network live and in, in clear at the Seminole Lake Glider Port.